jetting off to Naxos, Greece for a wild two-day escapade. This isn't your average tourist guide, it's your ultimate cheat sheet for exploring Naxos like a pro. Whether it's your first Greek adventure, or you're a seasoned island hopper, these tips are game changers. So hit that like button, subscribe for more insane travel hacks, and let's dive into the ultimate traveler's guide to Naxos. Let's make some unforgettable memories. Getting around to Naxos. Kickstart your Naxos adventure with ease. Rent a car or a scooter for about 30 to 50 USD per day, offering the freedom to explore at your own pace. Prefer public transport? Opt for the island's reliable bus service with a day pass costing around 15 USD, connecting you to all major attractions. Where to stay in Naxos? Immerse yourself in the island's charm by staying in Chora, the bustling capital. This area is a hot spot for tourists, offering a blend of traditional beauty and a lively atmosphere. Accommodations range from cozy guest houses to luxury hotels, with prices averaging 80 to 150 USD per night. City Airport Tips Arriving at Naxos Airport, a quaint yet efficient gateway, ensure a smooth start by pre-booking your transport to Chora. Navigate easily through this small airport, but remember to allow ample time for check-in procedures. Day 1 Morning Adventure – Exploring Chora, the Heart of Naxos Start your day in Chora, also known as Hora, or simply Naxos, a must-visit destination on the island. This charming town, where you'll likely arrive by ferry from Athens or another psychedelic island, is the vibrant main town of Naxos. Chora's extensive seafront is a picturesque setting, lined with an array of restaurants, cafes, and shops, all offering stunning views of the bustling port. Begin your exploration in Chora by heading towards its most iconic landmark, the renowned Portara. Situated at the end of the seafront on the island of Palatia, the Portara, or the Door, is a monumental marble gateway, the only remnant of the 6th century BC Temple of Apollo that was never completed. According to the legend, this is where Theseus abandoned Ariadne after defeating the Minotaur, and where Dionysus later whisked her away. Standing as Naxos's most famous symbol and monument, the Portara also provides a splendid view of Hora and its surroundings. Continue your journey to the Castro District, the oldest part of the city. Meandering through the old market's alleys, characteristic of the Cyclades with their cobblestone paths and white and blue houses, this area exudes a charming and authentic ambiance. In the Castro District, you can also admire several Venetian residents and the remains of the ancient castle. The interior is accessible for about 2.2 USD. While there might not be much to see outside, the terrace offers a beautiful panoramic view of Naxos. Breakfast at Sirocco For a delightful breakfast experience near Chora in Naxos, head to Sirocco. This charming cafe is conveniently located in the heart of Chora, making it an ideal spot after exploring the Portara, or before venturing into the Castro district. The average cost for a full breakfast at Sirocco ranges from 10 to 15 USD. This price includes a main breakfast item, a beverage like coffee or juice, and possibly a side or a pastry. Early Afternoon – Agios Prokopios Beach Dive into the crystal clear waters of Agios Prokopios Beach. For those seeking a thrill, this beach offers a variety of water sports. You can try jet skiing, windsurfing, or paddleboarding. Equipment rentals and lessons are available for beginners and experts alike, approximately 20 to 50 USD. Or prefer lounging on the golden sands? This beach offers a perfect mix of adventure and relaxation. Lunch at Anisis Spiros for a delightful lunch near Agios Prokopios Beach in Naxos, consider visiting Anisis Spiros. This restaurant is a popular choice among both locals and tourists. Known for its authentic Greek cuisine and its proximity to the beach, additionally trying a local Naxian wine with your meal is highly recommended, as the island is known for its excellent vineyards. The average cost for a lunch meal at Anisis Spiros ranges from 15 to 25 USD per person. This price typically includes a main dish, a side, or salad, and a drink. The restaurant is known for its generous portions, ensuring good value for money. Afternoon and Evening Adventure – Exploring Halki If you're a young traveler looking for an off-the-beaten-path experience in Naxos, 
Halki is your go-to destination. Nestled in the heart of the island in the mountainous Tragia region, this village is just a cool 20-minute drive from the island's capital, Hora. Perched up high, Halki is the perfect place for an insta-worthy stroll through its picturesque cobbled streets. You'll find unique shops selling local products that are totally snapshot-worthy. The village's central square is a chill spot to hang out, dominated by a massive plane tree right in the middle. Perfect for that shady selfie. Don't miss out on the Villandris Distillery, the only place on Naxos where you can find Kitron, the local liqueur. It's made from citron, think like a giant lemon, and comes in three colors, each representing a different alcohol strength. Green, light, white, medium, and yellow, strong. This spot is a must visit from May to October. Wrap up your Halki excursion with a short, scenic 10 minute walk among olive trees to the Agios Georgios Diosuartes Church. This quaint 11th century church is super picturesque and a great spot for some quiet reflection. Insider tips. Drop your car at one of the parking spots at the village's entrance or exit. The village center is a pedestrian only zone, making it super chill for walking. If you're up for a little more exploration, check out Panagia Drosiani near Moni Village. It's one of Greece's oldest churches and totally worth the detour. You can get there by car, though parking's a bit of a squeeze, or by trekking from Moni Village. Dinner at Katoi For a memorable dinner experience near Halki and Naxos, you should definitely check out Tokatoi. This restaurant is just a short distance from the center of Halki, offering a perfect blend of authentic Greek cuisine and a cozy atmosphere. The average cost for a dinner at Tokatoi is around 20 to 30 USD per person. This typically includes a main course, a cider salad, and a beverage. Day 2 Morning Adventure – Exploring Philoti Begin Day 2 by exploring Philoti, the largest village nestled in the picturesque Tragia region. Stroll leisurely through its winding alleys, a delightful journey showcasing the village's stunning architecture. Don't miss the chance to visit the striking white marble church at the village center, a testament to local craftsmanship. Breakfast at Kafenian o Platanos This charming traditional Greek cafe is located in the center of the village, offering a true local experience. Kafenian o Platanos is known for its authentic Greek coffee and a selection of traditional breakfast items. You can enjoy Greek pastries like spanakopita, spinach pie, or tiropita, cheese pie. Fresh bread with local honey and cheese, and of course, Greek yogurt with honey and nuts. The atmosphere is typically Greek, casual and friendly, perfect for soaking in the local culture. The cost of breakfast at Kafenian o Platanos is quite reasonable. A typical breakfast including coffee, a pastry, or a small plate of local delicacies will cost around 5 to 10 USD. Early Afternoon, Mount Zeus Philoti, a quaint village in Naxos, serves as the gateway to one of the island's most celebrated treks, the ascent of Mount Zeus, also known as Mount Zas. Standing tall at 1,004 meters, this mountain isn't just the highest peak in the Cyclades, it's steeped in mythology as the reputed birthplace of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. The journey begins in Philoti, where a 40-minute walk leads you to the Arya Springs, marking the first leg of the hike. For those looking to save some time, driving is a viable option, with a convenient parking area located just before the springs. Well-marked signs at Philoti's outskirts guide the way. From the Arya Springs, the adventure continues with a 20-minute hike to the fabled Cave of Zeus, a site wrapped in myth and natural beauty. The final ascent to Mount Zeus's summit is a challenging yet rewarding hour-long trek. Upon reaching the peak, hikers are rewarded with a stunning panoramic view of Naxos, a breathtaking reward for the climb. Hiking Tips Be prepared for a steep and rocky path. Although the hike isn't lengthy, it's a genuine trekking experience. Ditch the flip-flops and gear up in sturdy walking shoes for a safe and enjoyable journey up Mount Zeus. Lunch at Rotonda Restaurant Rotonda offers a stunning panoramic view of the mountains and surrounding landscapes, adding a special touch to your dining experience. Rotonda Restaurant is known for its traditional Greek cuisine, featuring a variety of local dishes made with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. You can expect to find classic Greek salads, grilled meats, and a selection of seafood dishes. 
A typical meal at Rotonda, including a main dish, a side, and a drink, would be around 15 to 25 USD per person. Afternoon, Apirantos. To complete our exploration of Naxos's must-visit villages, let's journey to Apirantos. Nestled on the slopes of Mount Fanari and just a 45-minute drive from Chora, Apirantos is a destination that captivates with its charm. As you wander through its narrow, marble-paved streets, you'll be greeted by an array of quaint cafes and inviting restaurants, perfect for a leisurely break. Apirantos is not just about its picturesque lanes, it also houses several small museums. These museums, dedicated to archaeology, folklore, art, and natural history, offer insightful glimpses into the island's rich heritage. While not mandatory, they're worth a visit if time allows. The drive to Apiranthos is a scenic adventure in itself, connecting the villages of Halki, Filoti, and Apiranthos. This route is a visual feast, offering stunning views of the mountains and the sea, punctuated by numerous small, charming churches. Even though Apiranthos can be explored relatively quickly, the journey there is as rewarding as the destination itself, making it a worthwhile addition to your Naxos itinerary. Evening Motsuna. Finish your day with a scenic descent to Motsuna. The journey begins in Skado, winding through Koronos and Stavros, before connecting with Aperanthos and finally leading to Motsuna. This stretch of road is a visual masterpiece, offering some of the most stunning coastal views you'll find. Make sure to take the detour down to Motsuna. Along the way, you'll discover Azalas Beach, accessible via a path to the left before you reach the village. This pebbly, somewhat wild beach is known for its deep, clear waters and offers a more secluded experience. Further along the route, past the port of Motsuna, lies a trio of even more secluded beaches. Among these, Panormos Beach stands out as the best, located at the very end of the road. It's a haven for those seeking a quieter beach experience. However, be aware that there's no loop road. You'll need to double back through Motsuna to return to the rest of the island. Despite this, the journey is well worth it for the breathtaking landscapes and serene beaches you'll encounter. Dinner at Ustria Restaurant Located right by the sea, Ustria offers a picturesque dining experience. Complete with the soothing sounds of the waves and a stunning view of the Aegean, Ostria Restaurant is known for its fresh seafood and traditional Greek dishes. The menu often features locally caught fish, grilled octopus, and a variety of classic Greek appetizers like tatsiki, fava, and Greek salad. The cost of a meal at Ostria is quite reasonable, especially considering the quality of the food and the restaurant's prime location. For a full meal, including a starter, a main course, and a drink, you can expect to spend around 20 to 30 USD per person. Best time of year to visit Naxos. The best time to visit Naxos is from late spring to early fall, specifically May to October. Outside these months, the island is quieter, offering a more authentic but less tourist-oriented experience. And that, my friends, wraps up our incredible journey through the enchanting island of Naxos. From the sun-kissed peaks of Mount Zeus to the serene shores of Motsuna, we've uncovered the hidden gems and experienced the vibrant heartbeat of this Aegean paradise. If this video ignited the wanderlust in you, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow travel enthusiasts. Your support means the world and helps us bring more such adventures to your screen. Haven't subscribed yet? Now's the time to join our community by clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. You won't want to miss what we'll have in store for you next.